How un-American could the government get if it ever forced this upon us? Here we are at Corporate Slave America Walmart Supercenter in Hickory, North Carolina, where just before the holidays, Hickory Police Department decided they needed to put up one of these OCX Skywatch Towers. They purchased it using JAG grant funding from the Federal Recovery Act of 2009. Uh, they started out during the holiday seasons. Um, saying they were going to patrol the area for the, the mass influx of customers coming through here. But what we have seen is that they just moved it shortly after uh, the turn of the year to the local Target parking lot. And they also ended up putting it over at the mall. But this week I ride by and here it is back here again. It's manufactured by OCX, um, ICX. ICX. Uh, they are a Department of Homeland Security contractor. I don't believe they're out here today or else they would have already started a conversation with me. I've talked to them before. All they really had to say was that it was, quote, operational. Security cameras. This is a total police state. First time I come out here, somebody had a van parked out here who said, Ron Paul was right. Uh, they say this can be equipped with infrared security cameras, but I don't believe this one particular model is. It has a uh, weather, wind speed. Uh, you can see the high intensity lighting there, fog lights, and the megaphone. So you can just imagine what that would look like in the dark in a foggy night with a bunch of protesters around it. The uh, manufacturer of this thing here even says on the website that it can be used for crowd control and civil unrest. Um, uh, let's see if I can get an exact count on them of security cameras. It actually comes down, there's no ladder. Uh, part of it I think is solar powered. They have a heater inside, air conditioner. It's got a megaphone on every side. Let's see, one, two, three. At least three security cameras. And this is Hickory, North Carolina, right here where the police state is coming into effect slowly but surely. They're, they're desensitizing the public to their presence. Uh, we're seeing them out here every single day. So ICX, you can Google them. They make a variety of Homeland Security products. Uh, they must have had a contract or something, but since the money came from the federal government, I wouldn't be surprised. It has something to do. Oh, wow, look here. Check out this website, guys. ICX Tactical Platforms. See, it's a tactical approach. Tactical. We are the enemy. They are engaging us as the enemy. The American public. We are the terrorists now. The American public is the terrorists. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Well, uh, we'll be back again to have a look at this when somebody is in it. It's currently 8.24 a.m., uh, Wednesday, January the 20th. They should be in sometime today. I think they just moved this out here recently, so we'll see what their schedules are, and we'll be back on later. Thanks for watching. Wow. How much more un-American can the American government get? This, my friends, is a mobile prison guard tower. This was placed in a small town in New Jersey.
It's really a one horse town. Nothing really happens here. Low crime rate. Really unwarranted. This is such a small town that the cars you see parked here are for the train station. They're the commuters that go back and forth each day. This is the park that the mobile prison tower overlooks. It is void of all human activity and for good reason it is now a prison park. This is the small train station, proving this is just a small little town. The reason we can only surmise is this is a trial run, a trial run for your town, where you shop, your park, total intimidation. You can see the men inside, watching me watch them. Normally I would stop at video tape this, but I thought it best that I just drive by and didn't want to intimidate the officers inside, which would probably land me into a jail cell about the small people, and we care about the small people. Here we are at the Skywatch again, trying to see what these people know anything. Hi guys. Hey guys. How you doing? Um, I was wanting to ask a few questions about this, uh, Skywatch you got here. You don't mind me asking, how much does this thing cost? The city of Hickory. I don't have it. Is this called the Yeah, the JAG grant from the American Recovering Reinvestment Act. Right. Uh, do you know why they bought this? Alright. So you don't think it would ever have any use in crowd control or civil unrest? No, obviously it would be used for fast control. Okay. So y'all y'all plan to keep it out here for a while? Well we move place to place. Yeah. We don't work it. It's Alright. Well I can certainly understand with Walmart and all this crime. Um, yeah, I saw it out there at Target in the mall. Yeah, at first I talked to the deputy who was working here for a little while once, and I figured it was just for Black Friday, but then they all kept it out. Yeah. Year-round. Year-round. I saw one like it in Charlotte, but... Yeah, they show up about three or four of them. Oh, really? Do they keep theirs out all the time? I think for the most part they do. Did y'all know you're you're on uh, the ICX Taxable Platforms website, the Hickory Daily Record? They have an article up there about y'all now. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, it's interesting. I read what the record man, but I haven't been back on the website of the paper. Yeah. All righty, so well, I guess that's just about all the questions I have for you. Um, Thanks for helping. Yes, Thanks for coming. Trust 
do you trust the government? 